Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online Buyer's Guide. Today's guide is the Riot Van. At a cost of around 3 to 4 million, depending on if you've beaten the Chop Shop missions or not, is it worth the price of purchase? No. Uh, no, no it's not. Alright, for those who are really inclined to buy this thing just because they want to roleplay as a policeman and wee-woo the traffic out of the way, let me at least show you why I think you should not buy it. First of all, it's a Pegasus vehicle. For Christ's sake, I thought these went extinct. Which means travelling halfway across the map just to collect the damn thing. The handling and performance are okay, relatively unchanged from how it's always been in the game. It's got working sirens and the NPCs will trash their cars trying to get out of the way. It's always a fun time. It has fully bulletproof windows which <laughs> I think the modeler at Rockstar made a mistake because they don't exist on the inside. Unless they're like a one-way glass in which people shouldn't be able to see inside and the occupants see out. It's, it's the complete opposite and it makes no sense. I think Rockstar just got lazy and reused a vehicle from 2013 which wasn't designed around the first person view mechanics that the game got later on. Uh, so yeah, you can also shoot weapons like machine guns out the back which is pretty swell, but besides rockets instantly blowing up the thing and bullets popping the tyres of what's supposed to be a bulletproof vehicle, oh, come on, did they even try, for Christ's sake man, why are the tyres poppable? Makes no friggin' sense. The Ride Van, the only van in the game where the real life equivalent is probably better than the in-game model. So yeah, one rocket or popping the tyres is enough to render this thing completely useless. Wee. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide if this thing is going to be worth it. At least the contemporary, the cop cars, you actually get to own inside a garage and can be customised. To quite the extent I must add, hot damn, there is a lot of customization on these things. More information on the full video on them. I feel like I've wasted a hell of a ton of money. I'm going to have to get the grind in for the next DLC where it'll be nothing but plastic children's cars that you make move by Fred Flintstoning the friggin' floor! Anyways, before I punch my own television screen, I hope you found this useful. Make sure to subscribe and join the official Discord channel. And I will see you around, folks.